To expand inspection capabilities and increase cost-effectiveness, EPRI is developing a permanently installed transmission line inspection robot that is designed to automatically traverse a transmission line twice a year, collecting high-fidelity information that utilities can act on in real time. A previous video outlines the mobility and inspection concept in detail. This video provides an update on progress in the development. At the end of 2010, a technology demonstrator was developed and a test line was built at EPRI's Lennox Laboratory to simulate all of the worst case scenarios the robot might encounter while traversing a line. The testing proved the motion concept and transit system of the robot. This phase of development resulted in a detailed design of the electronics that provide power and control the robot, and the sensor systems that will be integrated into the transmission line inspecting robot to collect and communicate data remotely during inspection. The concept of power harvesting was also introduced in 2010 as a likely means of providing energy for the operation of the robot's motion, control, and other systems. Development continued throughout 2011 along with additional testing using the technology demonstrator as a testbed to evaluate new concepts and components. Concepts such as a redundant locking system, improved wheel design, short and long wheelbase, improved diverter detectors, new motors, and new motor controller algorithms were evaluated. All of these concepts were developed into working systems for testing on the Lennox test loop to validate and refine the improvements. The process culminated in a three-day test with the robot circling the Lennox test loop 50 times consecutively, overcoming all the bridges and challenges repeatedly. Certain challenges required the construction of dedicated testing equipment to aid in the evaluation of potential design solutions. The initial testing of the robot on the Lennox test loop revealed issues with the wheel design and the rapid degradation of its rubber compounds. A rotating wheel tester was constructed specifically to evaluate the performance of different proposed wheel design improvements in rubber compounds. The rotating wheel tester, dubbed the Wheel of Fortune, allowed the developers to accelerate the distances traveled by the wheel system on a transmission line simulator and resulted in a successful wheel design using new material that was able to survive 2,000 miles on the simulator. A payload for the sensor package was also designed and implemented during this period of development. The initial payload consisted of high-definition visual cameras, light detection and ranging sensors, LIDAR, accelerometers, GPS, and weather sensors. The payload was attached to the technology demonstrator and data was collected on the Lennox test loop. The LIDAR sensor was able to accurately estimate the size and presence of simulated trees, dwellings, phase conductors, and distribution crossings. The electronic system used to manage power, control the robot, communicate, and operate the sensors as well as store and assess data was built and the first level of functionality was tested. The concepts for harvesting power for the robot that were documented in 2010 were explored further and detailed modeling was performed for the first transmission line on which the robot is expected to be implemented. Preparations for the first implementation on AEP's 138 kV line were initiated. The line design was modified to account for the presence of the robot under a range of conditions, including ice and high wind. A vendor has been engaged to produce the bridge or diverter systems for installation on the AEP's 138 kV line. Development and implementation of TIE, the transmission inspecting robot, will continue to accelerate through 2012. 
A new prototype unit will be constructed utilizing all of the lessons learned on the technology demonstrator. The prototype will incorporate mechanical concepts and electronic systems, including motion control, sensor package, and communications, as well as software improvement. The power harvesting system that enables the robot to utilize induced current from the shield wire as it traverses the line will be further developed and tested during the first implementation by AEP. A section of transmission line will be modified and utilized in field testing of the prototype robot and diverter systems in 2013 as preparations for the 2013-2014 first implementation continue.